Let's take a look at the trigonal planar molecular geometry, also called molecular shape. So first off, if we have a steric number of three, that's one, two, three things attached to our central atom here, and zero lone pairs, that's going to give us this trigonal planar molecular geometry. A really good example is BF3. When we look at BF3, we see we have one, two, three atoms bonded to this central boron atom, but we don't have any lone pairs on the boron atom, so it's trigonal planar. Let's look at this in three dimensions to help us really see that. So we have our boron, the purple, that'll be our central boron atom. Let's add the three fluorine atoms, one, two, and they spread out the third one, and it spreads out so that everything is in a plane. We have three, that's the trigonal planar, it's in a plane. And you can see the bond angles, they're 120 degrees. Let's go back. So we have our three atoms and zero lone pairs. That's the trigonal planar. If you're using the AXE notation, A is the central atom, X, those are the atoms bonded to that central atom, and E would be the lone pairs. Here we have A and then X. We have three X's and no lone pairs. So AX3, if you look that up, trigonal planar. This is Dr. B with the trigonal planar molecular geometry, also called molecular shape. Thanks for watching.